For decades, one word has ruled the skies. Stealth. The power to be a ghost. To see your enemy when they can't see you, and to strike before they even know you're there. This has been the cornerstone of American air power, a technological trump card that has decided the fate of battles. But what happens when the ghost can no longer hide? Because China claims its J-20 Mighty Dragon stealth fighter just got a new pair of eyes. A revolutionary radar system with a reported detection range so vast, it sounds like science fiction. Some are claiming this one upgrade could make the F-35 visible. We're going to cut through the hype, separate the battlefield reality from the propaganda, and figure out if the age of stealth is truly over. To really get what's at stake here, you have to appreciate the world that stealth built. For years, aircraft like the F-117, the B-2 bomber, and today's F-22 and F-35 have completely warped military strategy. Their real power isn't just their weapons, it's their ability to simply vanish from enemy screens. Radar 101. You send out radio waves and wait for them to bounce back. A normal jet, with its big, flat surfaces, lights up like a Christmas tree. A stealth aircraft is the exact opposite. It's a masterpiece of strange angles, special curves, and radar-absorbing materials, all designed to scatter those radio waves away or swallow them whole. It shrinks a fighter's radar signature from the size of a truck to the size of a golf ball. This creates a brutally unfair fight. A stealth pilot can see a conventional fighter on their radar from hundreds of kilometers away, long before the other guy has a clue he's being hunted. This is the whole game. First look, first shot. The stealth jet can lock on, fire a long-range missile, and be gone before the target even gets a warning light. In air combat today, if you're the second one to see the enemy, you're probably already dead. Flying right into this established world order is China's Chengdu J-20, the Mighty Dragon. As China's premier stealth fighter, the J-20 is a loud and clear message. Since it entered service, its design has screamed speed, range, and stealth, clearly learning from American designs but adding its own unique twists, like those canard wings up front. The J-20 was built to be a disruptor, an aircraft that could break through air defenses and go after the most important targets, the refueling tankers and AWACS command planes that are the lifeblood of an air campaign. While experts have argued about how stealthy it really is, especially from the side or the back, its mission was never in doubt. Break the American monopoly on stealth. For years, the J-20 was a powerful, but known, quantity. Then, the whispers started about an upgrade that could change everything. In mid-2025, reports started bubbling up, many pointing back to a social media post from China's Shandong University. The claim was stunning. A breakthrough in chip technology had supposedly tripled the J-20's radar detection range. Suddenly, people were throwing around numbers like 600, even 700 kilometers. The secret sauce? A new material called silicon carbide, or SIC, developed by a team led by Professor Xu Shangong. So how does it work? A modern fighter's radar is an AESA, or Active Electronically Scanned Array. Imagine thousands of tiny transmit, receive modules packed together. The power and efficiency of these tiny modules determine everything. The new silicon carbide chips can handle way more power and heat than older materials. In a radar, more power out means a stronger signal, which in theory means you can detect things from much farther away. But can a J-20 really detect a stealth F-35 from 700 kilometers out? Let's be clear. That is almost certainly not going to happen. That 700 kilometers figure is a best-case scenario, a theoretical maximum probably calculated against a massive, non-stealthy target like a bomber, flying straight and level in perfect conditions. Spotting an F-35, which is specifically designed to be invisible to these kinds of radars, is a completely different universe of difficulty. The radar energy that bounces off an F-35 would be practically non-existent at that range. But don't write this off as pure hype. Even if the real-world improvement is more modest, say, the detection range against a stealth fighter gets pushed from 200 kilometers out to 300 or 350 kilometers. That is a massive deal. In the chess match of air combat, every single kilometer is a kingdom. An extra 100 kilometers of detection range is a life-or-death advantage, 
potentially giving the J-20 pilot the precious seconds they need to get the first shot. Let's say the J-20's new radar can get a lock on an F-35 at a much greater distance. Seeing your target is just the first step. To win the fight, you have to run the full kill chain, detect, track, fire, and guide your missile all the way to impact. This is where the J-20's main weapon, the PL-15 missile, enters the picture. The PL-15 is one of the most dangerous air-to-air -air missiles out there, with its own radar seeker and a special rocket motor that can reignite late in the flight for a final burst of speed. While some reports claim a wild 300 km range, a more credible estimate puts its effective range at over 200 km. That still gives it a longer reach than the American Amram missile used by the F-35. The math is terrifyingly simple. If the J-20 sees the F-35 first, and its missile outranges the F-35's missile, the advantage can shift in a heartbeat. But it's never that easy. Hitting a tiny, maneuvering jet from that far away is incredibly hard. The J-20 has to keep its radar pointed at the F-35, feeding the missile updates as it flies. If the F-35 dodges or uses electronic warfare to jam the signal, the missile can lose its lock. The farther the shot, the more time the target has to fight back. The threat to stealth isn't just about the radar on the J-20. To see the real danger, you have to zoom out. China has been methodically building one of the world's most advanced air defense networks, and a huge piece of that puzzle is dedicated anti-stealth radar. For years, China has been deploying massive ground-based radars that use lower-frequency radio waves. Systems like the JY-27V are designed to find the exact flaws in stealth technology. While stealth jets are shaped to beat high-frequency radars, their shapes can still be seen by these lower-frequency systems. These giant ground radars are sometimes called stealth killers. They aren't precise enough to guide a missile themselves, but they don't need to be. Their job is to be a planetary-scale tripwire. They scan the skies, and if they spot a potential stealth aircraft, they can pass a rough location, a queue, to the rest of the network. That queue can be sent directly to a J-20 pilot, telling them exactly where to point their powerful new radar. All of a sudden, the J-20 pilot isn't searching an empty sky anymore. They're staring at a tiny box where the enemy is hiding. This fusion of low-frequency ground radar and high-frequency airborne radar creates a system that's far more lethal than the sum of its parts. Stealth aircraft are no longer ghosts floating in an empty void, they're fish swimming in a sea that is completely wired with sensors. This new reality raises some serious questions. Is stealth still the ultimate advantage in the air, or are we watching the balance of power shift before our very eyes? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're getting value from this breakdown, do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more analysis on the tech that's shaping our future. So, has a new Chinese radar killed the age of stealth? The answer isn't a simple yes or no. Stealth isn't dead, but its days of unquestioned dominance are over. It's no longer an invisibility cloak. It's just one more tool in an incredibly complex game of electronic cat and mouse. The modern air battle is now fought across a network of sensors, where data and processing power matter just as much as the performance of the jet itself. Advances in radar on the ground and in the air mean that relying on stealth alone is a losing strategy. Future wars will be won not by the quietest jet, but by the smartest network. The J-20's new radar isn't the end of the story. It's the explosive start of a new, and far more dangerous, chapter in air warfare. The ghost is no longer invisible, and the sky just got a whole lot smaller.